Okay, hello, happy Saturday, everybody. I'm gonna do a really, really quick, hopefully, video about some Amazon wigs. I know we've talked about this before in the past and I've introduced a couple of wigs that I picked up. Um, they are in stock wigs, uh, at least as of when I bought them. I think all of them can still be had. Yeah, all of them still can be had. Um, and I wanted to talk about the difference uh, between one company I've had a really bad experience with and then the two companies that I really like. Um, so here, and I'll introduce her really soon. Um, this is my new Twiggling Oryx in Sienna Tan that came in. I know I've mentioned her once, but I want to do a few things with her. She needs a face up, but that might take a while to get one. Um, on her and then on my Doll Chateau Snow Nymph is Lynn Fairy brand. And, and I'm going to be honest, I don't know if this brand, uh, if, if these brands are made by the same companies uh, and just, you know, presented or sold by two different places. I don't know. Not 100% certain. But um, anyway, these are Lynn Fairy. And then these are Moosey wigs that I've mentioned before. So I, I've, I've got a comb that I'm over here playing with. Um, when Lynn Fairy comes in, you get the wig, you get a wig cap. Of course, they, they both are going to come in in their nets and um, some of them will have the cardboard around it, but um, Lynn Fairy is going to have your silicone wig cap and um, this last time I got a comb with it. So, um, the only issue I've had on this one is this wig here has some problems with the wefts in the front and it doesn't want to lay down. Um, and you could see some white stitching and things like that. So I've kind of turned it to a side part and I had to use a marker, um, like an archival marker. Um, I don't know what they are to kind of color those, um, threads that I could see in the front and then trim what I could actually get to. So it's actually the wig cap on this one is is white and um, it, it looked a little odd with this skin color. So I don't recommend doing something like that with a vinyl doll. Obviously, who knows if that might bleed eventually onto it. And I was very sparing with what I did. So a little bit of an issue with this one, but it's a really soft, pretty flowing wig, and um, and I, I really like the quality of the hair. So, um, you know, um, on my Snow Nymph was my very first one that I got by them, and um, very first wig off of Amazon, and I'm I'm glad I gave it a try because um, convinced me that you can have nice ones out there. Um, I need to do a little taming to it. It's been around, been on a few different dolls. It's time for a nice brush and, and maybe a, a wash and, and recurl. But, um, anyway, down here, I've got the Moosey wigs. I'd already showed you guys these two, I think, when they came in. I'm still really happy with hers. Um, where she's got this, uh, more... Uh, wavy at the bottom it's it it can get a lot of flyaways but um on my ring doll frankenstein this this guy i love this one this one's a really nice wig it's easy to tame the flyaways um i wish i could find it in a red or a dark like chestnut brown or something for my um twiggly eloy because this doesn't fit the Eloy's skin tone, but I did notice on Amazon Warehouse there's one of these hanging out for a really decent price. Um, I think it was like $11, and I, I was really tempted, but I don't have anybody that it would work on. Um, so my Eloy's a warmer skin tone. He needs a warmer wig. Um, and then finally, the last one is this one on my Smart Doll uh, Liberty. I love the color. It's really beautiful on her. However, it's got a lot of flyaways. Um, and I don't need, I don't know if I need to 
I don't know what I need to do to style it. I do need some Volks uh, styling wax or whatever to, to tame this stuff up here. Straight out of the bag, it had a whole lot of flyaways. Um, it's a really pretty wig, but a beautiful color on her, but a whole lot of flyaways. And I'm not real good at pictures and editing. Oh, I like video. <laughs> I don't do a whole lot of editing, so. Oh, yeah. Found these shorts on um, Mercari. They're Adolphi Dream Shorts, and they, they fit her rather well. Um, maybe do a, might do a little tuck on the sides, but she sits really well in them, too. So, may just leave them be. Uh, they're real cute. I don't know the actual brand. They're not marked. They could be Dolphy Dream brand. Um, I don't know. But anyway, found them. They were like $23, and that's a whole lot better than, um, than mostly any other structured jeans that you can come across. So, um, got a whole lot of real nice details to it. So, that was a nice little find. Um, but anyway, so this is my um, Amazon wigs. If you hadn't seen the one where I talked about these two already, my one bad experience was a company called Miss You Wigs. M-I-S-S-U. Not Y-O-U. I think it's M-I-S-S-U. And, um, I got one and it was really dry. It shed a lot. It was marked for a 910, which I was very excited because I have an Eiffel House um, Falcon. I thought it would fit him great. Didn't fit. Wrong size. Um, so be be wary about the sizing on on you know them. These are all SD wigs and they all fit just just fine. This is a little big, so I used the silicone wig cap from from hers. That one was a little big, so I used a silicone wig cap on that one. Um, that Miss You hair, oh, and I had it on the doll, and I got a, my Dolphy Dream near it. Near it, it got staining all over her. It was a black wig. Horrible. I've not had any problems. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> With these wigs. Not saying it can happen, but I've not had any problem with staining anybody. Um, I try to be careful about the um, all of my vinyl dolls being near stuff um, that's a dark wig. So, that aren't made for them specifically. But anyway, that's my Amazon wig tutorial. I don't know, discussion, whatever it is. If y'all have got questions, let me know. I'll come back with her once I've made her some um, jewelry and maybe uh, changed her clothing. Um, I do like the dress I have on her. It's a, a scarf, whoop, scarf dress that I had made for an Apple House girl, and it fits really well. So, um, you know, it's a good alternative, but I think her colors are going to be um, red and gold. I think that's going to be... The direction I go unless the face up already says no I don't think that's a great idea anyway um so other than that hope y'all are staying safe and your families are well out there I'll talk to you guys later okay bye